Let's take a second to talk about how you're going to record your progress through this app. There's a lot of really powerful features for you to be able to use, and we want to make sure that you're doing things the way that we want you to so that we can record your progress the right way. One of the first things we'll talk about is body progress photos. This is completely optional, but if you're a female, we'd like you to take the pictures in either a sports bra or a tight-fitting top so that we can see the stomach and shoulders and uh, workout shorts. And if you're a guy, we'd like you to take your photos in shorts. It's self-explanatory that you'll take three different pictures, both from the front, the side, and also from the back. And we'll use these pictures to be able to help you track your progress, but also to make recommendations on diet and how we should change your exercise programming around. For example, if we notice that you're wanting more definition in your muscle, we may be able to say something like, hey, I think you're doing really well here, continue on. Or we could say, yeah, you know what, I agree, let's shift some things around. It'll help us to be able to better coach you. The second metric that you can track is your body weight. Your body weight, we like you to track in the morning, right after you wake up, and we like you to use the bathroom and then immediately take your weight. The reason for this is that when you first wake up, you will have not eaten for a certain amount of time, hopefully at least seven hours if you're getting a good amount of sleep. And you'll have the least amount of likelihood that either water fluctuations or food fluctuations in your digestive tract will negatively affect your weight and allow us to get a really good baseline. Your third metric is your body fat percentage. Now, if you're working with us in the gym, we'll actually take caliper measurements so that we can track those. But you can also buy electronic scales at home to be able to track your weight and your body fat percentage at the same time. These are really useful over time because over time it can help you to track your progress. But the scales that you're going to get at home are not super accurate, so just think of them more as a trend than an absolute of your body fat percentage. The last metric, if you and your trainer decide that this is the way that you want to track your nutrition, is to go on MyFitnessPal and start tracking things on there accordingly. Now, if you do need some help with that, we do have videos to help guide you through the MyFitnessPal process. But it's a really great way to be able to track your calories. Not everybody loves tracking calories, so there are a lot of different ways to do that. But if you guys decide that that's the best way to do it for you, then go ahead and start poking around on the MyFitnessPal app and start to log those things. Metrics are really good for a couple different reasons. The first one is that they can help you keep accountable and they can help you really make some very strategic shifts in your overall programming. But the other one is that tracking metrics over time is a really good way for you to stay motivated. You can lose 10, 15, 20 pounds over time and say, yeah, you know what, that's kind of neat. I'm glad that I did that. But the opportunity to look at a graph and actually see that sloping downward is extremely rewarding over time. The other area is that if you track your metrics, we can say, okay, now you've decided to switch goals and you decide that you want to go into a muscle building phase. So we can look at your trends over time and see how your specific body responds and adapts to what we've been doing and change it accordingly. Believe it or not, nutrition for gaining muscle is different than the nutrition that you would have for losing fat. In the end, we hope that your experience with tracking your metrics is one that both motivates and inspires you, and not one that becomes overly burdensome. Remember that your goal with your body is to acquire habits you can maintain over the course of 10, 15, 20 years, not just to light off like a firecracker and then fizzle out. So if you find that tracking any of these metrics is becoming overly burdensome or really weighing you down, then you need to talk to your trainer about shifting the way that you're tracking things. Your sustainability and long-term happiness is the goal.